Hey guys, welcome back to today's issue at Burnham Brother Antiques. We're starting here in the shipping area. Lucas over here is solo today in the shipping spot. Yep, been here for about two hours now. Two hours, he's getting it done. So I'm gonna take you out in the antique center. We'll see what's sold. Uh, I don't know where today's gonna go, but uh, welcome, let's go. Okay, check this out guys. This is a pick that Lucas and I have for the Monday show. Uh, really cool markings on the bottom. Uh, here's the signatures on it. Uh, I love the figurine, the boy on the horse. Uh, pretty cool. Coral and turquoise inlaid bracelet. It reminds me of a Navajo piece. Uh, don't know if it's signed anywhere. That's pretty cool. Sterling and turquoise bracelet again. And then look at the waves turquoise with the wave design I don't know if you can see that really well or not that's a pretty cool piece this is all going up for lucas and i's monday night picks on whatnot uh, i love the deco airplane this is signed as well it's got all the maker's stuff on the bottom here um it says air something deco designs patent pending looks like it's probably out of like the 80s somewhere in there and then this is a gorgeous eye cult vase really like the eye cult vase uh, some Alaskan Jade, Sterling Bear Claw, Italian Art Glass, uh, Millifori. This is a Sterling piece. That's just the beginning. We'll have another 30 to 50 lots on top of that. The show will be scheduled Monday at uh, 8 p.m. If you want to join us, jump on Whatnot Monday at 8, follow us, and uh, we'll, we'll have a show uh, for Lucas and I right here from this spot. Guys, these guys here are just bringing the restocking booth in here. I'll show you what they're doing when we're done. But uh, gorgeous oak cupboard coming in the door. So I walked out here to check on them, and uh, they said, oh, they got it. They don't need some help. But then they're going in the antique center. We are sitting here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we this is the America's biggest and best antique center. We're part of Ohio Antique Center, 122,000 square foot. Um, it's, it's Saturday morning. It's early. It's nice crowd that's showing up already. And our dealers, just like these guys, they're, they're stocked up. These guys drove a couple, two and a half, three hour drive to get down here to stock up their booth today. Uh, and the issue they've been having is they're selling. So they gotta keep coming back and stocking, which is a good thing. Here they go, they're going down to their booth. We'll catch them in their booth here in just a second. So there's the two piece cupboard put together. How much you guys gonna price this one at? $6.95? Around $600. We're not yeah. sure the exact price, but somewhere in that range. But that's a gorgeous oak kitchen cabinet. It's oak or ash? Is that a little bit of mixed oak and ash both? Yeah, or? yeah this is ash. That's ash. That's okay, oak. I thought that was ash. Yeah. Okay, that was mixed oak and ash. That's probably Ohio. Yeah. Pretty cool cupboard. Uh, 1870, somewhere in there. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice little step back cupboard. That's a pretty cool piece. Sitting right here in booth, uh, building number one. We are in booth number 1102, guys. Come check it out. It was fun getting the cupboard put in there for those guys, helping them out. Uh, well, let's go check some sold men's out. It's getting kind of busy. Let's see what we got. Wow, check these out. Vintage silhouettes, $135, um, sold only as a pair. So there's a pair of them here, and this got convex frames on them for $135. Those are in the sold bin. And then here's a smaller one, uh, convex frame again. This one's only $15. That's interesting. And this one here is 18. So from 135 for the pair to 15 and 18 on the silhouettes. And then check this one out, $15 on the needlework. That's a nice buy on that one. Somebody's buying some fire nozzles here. $55, $25, $65 on the big hose in the back. Uh, here's a camera. Let's see what the camera's priced out at. $35 on the camera. That's interesting. Here's a $12 car. An interesting group of fire nozzles though. Pyrex sold $42, a little like Amish scene on there, blue and white. A beautiful Mexican sterling piece, it is signed. Uh, what is that, Rodriguez, Mexico, 925, that's cool. Uh, just sold, priced at 195. This is an interesting hanging cupboard here. It's kind of a tramp art decorations on it and it's got some old paint. Uh, let's see, it's priced at $80 uh, in the sold, the sold bins here. That's kind of fun. Here's a fun Westmoreland Dolphin candlestick priced at $20 in milk glass. Uh, right beside it, what do we have here? We have a sign for $15.99, some blue willow at $10. And then the next showcase, our shelf over here is a $60 uh, Yadro figurine. Little girl down here, she's cute. Here's some Candlewick priced at $34. There's a piece over here for $25 on the Candlewick, both sold. Uh, some prints here for $44 uh, on the pair, it looks like. 
And then a pair of Roseville bookends. Uh, that's kind of fun with the books. These are priced at, that's a bargain, $25. Small chip on the corner, but that's a bargain for 25 on the pair. Not familiar with how the antique center works. This right behind me is our main entrance. Uh, if you look, we got hallways going off our main entrance, three different directions. And off these three buildings, there's a total of nine buildings connected, 122,000 square foot. So when you come and you're shopping the heart, if uh, you find something you like, one of our associates is gonna grab it from you and this is what they do. They give you one of these little numbers right here. So this is, says A29. That number then correlates with these bins I'll show you next. See the bins back there that I always say, hey, let's go check the sold bins out. That's the correlation. And so all of your items will get stacked there for you while you shop around. It makes it very convenient. You don't have to carry stuff with you. Um, and we've got associates in every building to take those items and put them back here and hold them for you. Once you're ready to check out, you jump right up here in the line. You come through and we have all of our registers ready to rock right here. Uh, ladies back here, check you out. They're really fast at it too. I'm amazed on how many items they can check out in an hour. Uh, sometimes our lines get a little bit long, but uh, most of the time it's pretty fast. Even if it's a long line, it does move quickly. So come check it out at the heart. Uh, have some fun, shop around. I jump back here behind the counter before it gets busy. Uh, just, just curious, just ask a couple of questions. You guys are here almost every weekend. So what's, uh, what kind of, I don't know, like how many customers do you think you serve in a day? And uh, like how many items do you wrap in a day or an hour or whatever? Tell us a little bit about what happens back here. I mean, I have no idea how many in a day because at some point like, you get so busy and like, like a lot of us have been here for a while, so we're pretty fast at it. And you just like kind of run through it and it's a blur. And at the end of the night, you're like, I have no idea. No you just idea. have a stack of invoices. <laughs> and you're like, okay, maybe I checked out like a hundred people today. Okay. More than that. Okay. But now, now far, as far as the wait times, what uh, sometimes this line can get long uh, on a Saturday, especially right at closing if everybody checks out. What's the longest you've ever seen the line out here? The longest I've ever seen the line is it was feeding all the way back into like building one at the end of it. It was like, I think I was there here until like 730 at night. Until 730. And we closed at six and you were checking people out till 730. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I love that that happened, but hopefully opening up more registers, that doesn't happen as often anymore. Yeah, that was yeah. a while ago. That was a while ago. cashiers than we do now. Okay. So that's cool. So we, yeah, we have expanded our cashier. Okay. So tell us something else. What, what do you, what do you see? Um, a lot. I see a ton of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, some interesting stories even. Yeah, we haven't had the line like keep us here that late since we've, you know, had you as owners. Yeah, we've so, expanded a little bit. Yeah, since we okay. have more cashiers, it's never been like that late. So okay. we go through the line like pretty fast now. But, okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, but it's been long in the past. Well, we're glad. That's something we wanted to fix that I seen right away was the line were too long. I don't like, people don't like to wait, so we're trying to move them through quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then on Saturday mornings, what is there? Usually two to three of you here on cash Saturday mornings, and then it, it yeah. starts picking up about one ish on the checking out. Yeah, because people shop in the morning and they spend like it takes them a while to get through the building. So once they finally make it through, then they all come here and like the people who usually get here right at opening all want to check out at the same time because they've seen everything and they're ready to go. So that leads to like kind of a rush, but it's not too bad to manage anymore. Like yeah. you can get it moving pretty fast. Okay. You just keep going. I know the first time I seen the, the massive line back here, I came back and tried to jump in and help wrap and pack. And I, I, was, I was like blown away at how organized you guys do this in the system. Uh, I'm yeah. pretty shocked by it. You guys really get a lot of work done fast. So We've got it down. You got it down. I agree. <laughs> These guys are awesome. They rock it out. But all right. Uh, let me think here. Any other questions? Anything else you want to share with our viewers about checking out and the processes or inter anything interesting from back here? I don't know. I mean, I don't think there's anything too special to say. I will say, make your offers while you're on the floor because it'll make your checkout go way faster. Mm. Don't wait till you get up here like, hey, I decided I want to make an offer because it will make you have to stay here a little longer. It will expedite your process a lot more if while you're on the floor, you find someone to write that offer so we can call on it while you're still shopping and not while we're trying to get you checked out. Yeah, and that's that's such a great point. Um, so we, we take offers, we let our, we let our anyone, any customer make an offer of an item that's $100 or higher, we'll call in and see if the dealer will take less for it. Um, and she's just sharing, if you wait till you get here with a pile of stuff and you try and make offers, you're going to hold the whole rest of the line up and it slows it way down. So great point. Make those offers uh, as you see the stuff and our associates will write them right up. All right, ladies. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. Let me film you. Yeah. Hey, that's good. We got some more sold items coming up. Here's a cool $22 butterfly. Now, I like that. That's kind of like a, a Chinese porcelain butterfly. It looks like a pretty interesting piece. And right beside it, look, this looks more Italian here. Uh, inlaid, marquetry inlay, lots of work in this piece. Two handles, pretty cool. This one is sold at $48. Oh, I know this this one, this one just sold. This one was actually from one of our dealers. They brought it in and wanted to sell it to me. And uh, 
that's kind of fun. It's just getting resold again. So that's one that I owned and now it's priced out at $95 and it's in a sold pile. This is the other one. So they were a pair and now they both came up front and I like to see that. It's interesting is we always try and have uh, three carts up here that you can ju just check out. Uh, we've only got three, but if you're, if you're handicapped or just need some assistance with carts, we do have those available. And all you gotta do is come up here and see Mark at the front desk and ask for assistance and he'll take care of getting you signed up. That's pretty good. Here we go, all of our associates taking stuff up, putting it in the bins for you. Uh, and these guys get, they average between uh, 12 and 16,000 steps a day because these buildings, I mean, they're like a, you can go one mile inside the, inside the rooms here. If you just go inside every building and every aisle, it's right at one mile under roof. So our associates, they get a lot of steps in. I think someone said they got over 20,000 steps one time. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Got guys like Adam here that's just portering today, and he's help here. He's ready to help you load out. Um, yes, sir. Loads, you just loaded to move the big heavy desk, right? Oh yeah, I, I was just saying earlier that was probably the heaviest thing I've ever lifted. Like <laughs> yet again, I'm only 27, so there's probably going to be something heavier down the that's, line. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's awesome. The desk they just moved. This is an industrial uh, workbench, actually. I mean, it barely it's barely on the cart. I don't even know how they got it up there. Looks like it's about ready to fall off the cart. Kind of. I better better make sure that's secured. Over here at the office, uh, this is where you, your offers all get called in. So Elise over here is actually working on calling in offers right now, doing paperwork. So anytime there's an offer made, uh, it comes over here and then she'll call the dealers and see if she can get it worked out for you. So uh, Kevin, I'm uh, curious, our viewers, I, I just shared with them that anything that's $100 or higher, they're allowed to write an offer on. So if somebody comes to you, how, how do you do that? Like what, what's the process? I explain the pricing to them. Mm -hmm. $40 and above is 10% off. Right. $100 and above they can make an offer on. Okay. And uh, we look at the, the item and let's say it's $300. We explain to them that it's $30 off based on our pricing that they have the ability to make an offer on okay. that item. And then you help them, you, what they do is that you actually fill the off, yes. offer out for them, Yeah, correct? we write the offer up we give them a bin tag number that is tied to their offer then about 20 minutes or a half hour later they can take this up to the cashiers yep. and they'll get an answer on their offer yeah and that's that's pretty simple process and how many offers do you write up in a, any given oh, day What's on an average most? day probably four or five offers four or five day. offers yeah. on average how about a busy saturday how well, many? it could be 10 or 12. 10 or 12 okay yeah what's the most interesting yeah. item you can remember making an offer on oh there's some of the natural history items that's interesting out there, the geodes and the, okay. the uh, uh, fossils from yeah. dinosaurs, that kind of thing. And also with an offer, if you're looking at some expensive items, you can combine the, the items if they're several items that are all the same owners. Order. You might get a better deal on all of them oh, yeah. if it's from okay. the same dealer. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate it, Kevin. Thank sure. you. Okay. Have a good day. I'm back in here on Luke. Luke, how's it going so far? Uh, well, it's been about an hour since the last checked in, and I don't know if the box uh, The pile's getting the pile's bigger. bigger or not. The lamp pile's getting smaller, the box pile's getting bigger. That's good. All right. Any challenges on this stuff today? Yeah, well, big orders. Big this orders? all one order right here. Oh, that's cool. We'll have to see what if I have to make a big box or unbundle it. So you got to wrap it all, pre-box it, and then you put it in the big box after you get it all pre-wrapped? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Keep it up. We're just talking about offers with Kevin, and uh, so this is where the offers come. So when you get an offer, what's the process? So they drop it off at the window, and um, then I call the dealer and see if they are okay with the price. And then we we actually have to you have to like, manually enter into the, the books over here. So these are all offers that are coming in this morning so far uh, on the book, and then the offers get called in. And then what do you do after you find out the answer? So when I've talked to the dealer, I will um, write it on the little slip. And then I'll take it up to cash, and then okay. it'll be there ready for you when you check out. Well, that's cool. That's, okay, I'm going to follow an offer slip real quick. Let's go find one over here. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so here is an offer slip uh, that Meredith actually wrote up. Um, and here's what they look like. So offer, we had $625 uh, price tag, $400 offer, and then the dealer counter back at $500 on one piece. And then another piece at $395, the counter back at $316. So now this is sitting here waiting for the person to come check out. Uh, and when they do, we'll have the answer. All right, so these are the two rings that you wrote the offer up on. What do we have here? That's pretty. That's like a. That's a diamond, isn't it? Blue diamond. Um, I think I'm pretty so. sure those are blue diamonds. This is on here. Oh yeah. Yep. Blue, blue and white, white diamonds. diamonds. That's what I thought. And then what's the other one? This one, I think it's just gold. Gold, and that's got like loose gold yep, on the inside, right? That's cool. 
And you wrote those up? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let, I'll have to check back later and see if they take the offer. Yep. We'll follow them. Alrighty. Another interesting thing about the Antique Center here is we have a really good cafe. Uh, let me just show you the menu here. This is our daily specials. There's always a daily special today. Like today's special is a uh, barbecue pulled pork. On Saturday, they do the barbecue pulled pork, served with a side and pickle. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff. We have Pepsi products, uh, different things. And then we have a, a bigger menu as well. Uh, lots of grilled sandwiches and such. And then on Sunday, they do a cheeseburger special. And throughout the week, they'll have a different special every single day, Monday through Friday. Here's the cafe, the line's going. They've got a great staff back here. These girls, they rock it out. They serve a lot of people in a day. Uh, convenient, easy to eat. And then once it gets nice out, you can actually go outside. We have tables and chairs outside in the commons area. Uh, pretty cool cafe. Mojo's, epic grilled cheese sandwich. A lot of compliments on our grilled cheese sandwiches here. These ladies are just buying a bunch of records. Can you tell me which ones you were excited about when you were buying? Um, I was super excited about Aretha in Paris. Uh, she did a show and it's a live recording of that. And then um, I got Diana Ross, The Temptations and Supremes. My dad's a really big Motown fan. And so cool. I got this to listen to with him. Nice. Um, and then we got a bunch of Christmas records. And so we've got Elvis, all of those classics that you know you hear on the radio, but yeah. you want to hear it in the classic form awesome. that it was originally done in. So I got a bunch of those. That's cool. Okay. What'd you get? Yeah. So I got three, so I got... These are her order, right? Yeah, yeah perfect. So okay. I got Lionel Richie, which is one of my favorite artists, but also one of my mom's favorite. And nice. then this is an album where it's just a collection of just some classics. So Bing Crosby, Ella Fitzgerald, Louis Armstrong, So what, what, what's your favorite type of music to listen to? Um, I love a variety, so I love a, a, that area of like Motown. Mm -hmm. I love 70s music, so like some of my favorite groups is more of that like bluesy sound or more like classic southern nice. rock but also i i'm a big fan of like 30s and 40s that uh, like almost like noir film era like sound <laughs> well, that's cool and yeah. then the uh, last album i got is a tim and Euro album because my mom is named after this artist wow so i wanted to get this for her because i never found a tim and Euro album ever out in the, out in the out, just the first yeah. one first yeah, one yeah, okay one now would you have guessed you'd have found those here at the heart i just First time here? Have um, you been, you this is here? my first time here, yeah. Okay. And I never would have guessed I would have found yeah. uh, Tamiro out in the, like, ever. Because I've been to some record stores, but they have a lot of, like, classic artists yeah. that you see right. everywhere and like the classic albums these are albums that i don't think i would have found yeah this is hands cool. down the best we i go vinyl thrifting a lot and this is hands down the best vinyl like prices for the variety yeah. it was an incredible selection awesome. we'll definitely be back with our friends <laughs> yeah. we were so looking cool. for easily like 30 45 yeah. minutes just finding all of them <laughs> that's so funny yeah. Yeah. one of our youngest dealers handles uh some of these records back in building all the way down to the left uh, building number three or four yeah. he's set he's uh 18. Cool. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, well, thanks guys for letting yeah, me talk to you for a minute. Absolutely. I'm back here at booth 1102 and they finally got it all done. Check out that dresser, that is so cool. And it is signed, this is a Kroller, mid-century credenza, uh, rosewood, that's a gorgeous piece. And the booth's done and ready to go. They've been here all morning working. Uh, they finally just finished it out. Pretty cool, they did a great job. Come check it out, booth 1102. Well, here's an interesting guy. I don't know. This just sold. This is a Victorian cast iron uh, fire hydrant, or 1920s one, probably. I'm guessing somewhere in that area. Pretty cool. Just sold. I think it was around $200. Mark is writing up an offer right now on the sign on this Ohio. It's priced at $175, and uh, we're writing up an offer for $150. See if we can get it sold. That's pretty cool. Al's coming in with another load. Someone's bringing in stock in a booth. It's coming in one door and out the other. That's a pretty good day right here at the heart of Ohio. I like the fire truck. Interesting plateau mirror just sold for $75. Nice silver plate base on it in the sold bins. Tokyo is sold. He's priced at $13. That's kind of fun. These guys are priced at $29 on the pair on the lead soldiers. And the Campbell's kids are $45. Those are pretty cool. And right here beside it, we have an alabaster lamp that just sold for $95. All sold. Cool Fiesta pitcher and ivory just sold for $130. And here's another one that just sold for $160. Those are both pretty cool pieces of Fiesta. Wedgwood sold $45. This is funny, you guys seen the video yesterday, Josh Price that put it out. I told him that was a really low price. $35 for all the false craft. Sold again. So it's uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon. Just wanted to walk outside and see how we're looking in the parking lot. I can always just tell how we're doing by the parking lot size. So yeah, this is a pretty good, pretty good group of people here today. Um, both sides are pretty full, so that's interesting. All right, let's get back inside. It's been hopping. And then uh, right in the middle of all that, we had a 
urinal clog I had an overflow in the bathroom I had to deal with and Josh isn't here today so normally he deals with that stuff but I had to do it today took one for the team today Josh yeah I caught back up with Tuesday again Tuesday finds okay so you found some more stuff today I did tell us about what you got um I found some enamel flowers um, I got some Millie Fiori necklaces nice um I found some um Howard Pierce, Howard Pence, yeah. bird figurines. Okay. Um, okay. And a few other things that I can't think of. But, <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Okay. So what was uh, you? You said you you seen something and you left it and you weren't sure. You wish you would have picked it. What was that? Yeah, it was a um, an art glass perfume bottle. An art glass perfume bottle. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, I like the Millefori. Yes. Let's see what you got here. Okay, got, the owl's cool. Yeah. Four dollars on that. Love That's owls, fun. right? Love that one. This is special for $20, mm -hmm. man, that's a steel. bargain. Steel, steel, steel. I can give you a profit on that right now. Yes. All right, right. <laughs> $28 on the glass is pretty cool. Yes, yes. And these are the eggs you're talking about? Um, yeah, these are some eggs that I got. Um, basically, these may be used as like giveaways at my whatnot yeah, shows at your whatnot or something shows. Okay. like that, or just some um, backdrop decor. Nice, um, okay. These are hot. Are they? Enamel flowers are very hard to come okay. by. Um, and they, now these are like twelve dollars on the price tag here. What, what do you resell yes. those for? So they can be sixteen, twenty-four. Okay. It all depends. It all depends on the condition of the enamel. Okay. Um, that type of thing and how flashy they are. Okay. Now tell me about the linens. I'm surprised you're buying sure. linens. Is this for resale? Right. Um, actually, yes. Okay. So there's um, a set of two pillowcases. Okay. In several different colors. Okay. And there are two pillowcases for five dollars. Well, that's a good good deal. That's I a mean, great deal. Great deal. <laughs> and these are probably nice old linen um, from the pillowcases 40s or something, that or got some well, age on 50s. Or, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I know that my customers will like the vibrant colors. Okay. And my thought is, is I could get you know fifteen for the set. McCoy oh, cookie is jar. Not mine, I don't believe you're. Ah, okay. McCoy's not you. That's the birds not are me. you. The birds are me. Yes. The birds are yours. Okay, these yes. are the ones you were just telling me. About. Yes, I love Okay, these. tell us about these. What do you Okay. So I had picked up um, a lady holding a bird or a young girl holding a bird figurine that was made by this same maker. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I, I sold it and I, I regret it because oh. it was beautiful. Okay. Um, I didn't find the girl holding the bird this time, but I did find um, the beautiful birds. And there's two of them. Yes. That's fun. Okay. Um, there's a pair. Cool. And the pair was 45. 45. I, I get a discount on that, I yeah, think. Yeah, you do? 10%? Yeah, 10% okay. off. And I, I couldn't leave them. Awesome. I can't leave them. I'll, put, I'll display them, <laughs> put them up for sale for a price that I'm willing to let them go at. Perfect. But um, I've had good, good luck with, with his pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Well, thank so, you for shopping again here today. You, thank you, you for you having keep me. Keep coming. It's awesome. We love yeah. seeing you buy so much. Yes. Thank you so very much. All I right. appreciate you. All right. Thanks. Appreciate thanks. it. Here's some other stuff on the shoulder bins here. Like a brown, brown glaze piece, 65. Looks like Weller. Uh, that's pretty cool. $65 sold. This iron skillet, these things sell every day. This one's at uh, $39 on the sold bin. This is a 1968 Barbie with case and accessories, priced at $125 in the sold bin. That's pretty cool. Opalescent hen on the nest, priced at $39. You know, these have gotten really popular again. A lot of people are buying the glass animals on the nest. One Edgemont cracker tin for $59 in the sold bin. Same bin's got a really cool 1929 license plate in here. Let's see, 16, no, $16 for the washboard. The national washboard here, the license plate is $28. That's a bargain on the license plate. All in the sold bin. Oh no, she got glasses on. You can't take them off. That's what you look great. Look at that big You're box so of stuff. Yay! That's cool. Bag of stuff, box of stuff. Appreciate you shopping so much. You guys did an excellent job once again. Thank you so much. Oh, thank Good you. Good job. And I ate great. And you ate at Mojo's. Yes. What do you like there? Um, you know? Well, today I had the pulled pork. Pulled pork, that's what I ate. The chips and okay. uh, Okay. And a pickle. And, and a pickle. pickle. You gotta have pickles. I love pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you next time. All right. We got some more stuff going out. A pair of French chairs are getting loaded up on the truck. There's a Versace case up there going out. Uh, a couple of RVs have pulled in. Now we're back out to the gravel. It's, uh, folks are still showing up. It's pretty cool. I love it. Appreciate everybody coming out and supporting us and the dealers that are here. It's a beautiful day out here, too. Great day to go antiquing. The time is now, what do we got here? 3.15, uh, we're still hopping pretty good. We've, the checkout line is moving pretty quick. We've got four four registers open, so it's, it's happening over there. The cafe still has quite a few people eating. 
Um, believe it or not, we still have people pulling in. Uh, a lot of people are coming in, going all day long. It's been a hopping place. Uh, so yeah, what a day here at the heart of Ohio Antique Center. And solo without Josh today, I'm gonna give him a hard time. Oh, there's an interesting piece of Weller just sold for a price at 135, but I like the, just the simple flower, the nice colors. Uh, the, it is Weller, uh, what does that say, Floretta? Floretta Weller, that's pretty cool on the Weller vase. Here we go, a little Vaseline so glass pitcher yeah. that's $87.50. Well, so, that's sold. I mean, and then here's a great buy on a little uh, 1960s calendar for $3.95. Okay, so there's a comic book collection that is up here. There's an offer pending. Um, I'm not sure if the offer is $2,300 or if that's the, the amount in here, but it's in that range. Big group of comic books. They got brought up. There's an offer pending. I'm hoping these go out the door. And these were priced from like five dollars. This one's 125, 75, 85. They're, they're all over, but a lot of comic books right here. I only got back here. Lucas again. He's still doing a jewelry sale. So, is this uh, all of it? There you got the bulk jewelry. Is this the regular jewelry or bulk jewelry? Yeah, I'm not doing bulk jewelry today. Um, bulk jewelry on Monday. Yeah, this is the sterling we sold on Thursday. The sterling we sold on Thursday. It's getting shipped out. So that's still a two-day shipping. That's pretty good. Uh, Lucas has been working at it. How many pieces you got left to ship? Five. Five more pieces and you're gonna call it a day. Yep. Nice. I think it went faster, but JoJo is over there doing his judo tournament. Have you heard how he's done? Mm -mm, nothing at all. Oh, he didn't even text? Mm -mm. I figured he'd text you and let you know how he did. Did he win or something? I don't know. No, I don't either. That's what I was saying. I figured he'd let you know. Okay. Tell me. Oh, cool. All right, I'll catch you after a bit. It's been uh, pretty pretty hopping up here in the, in the cashier steam, but I wanted to show you a few more things that have sold. So let's find something interesting. Here we go. Let's look at this. All right, that's a bargain. $28. I'd buy that one. That, that's going to blow. Check it out. Uh, $45 on Anchor Hawking Dish. There's a whole bunch of Vaseline glass piled in here. So here's a little Cambridge nut dish for $7. I got a feeling most of that's going to blow. And then $88 for a Victorian photo album in orange velvet. That's pretty fun. Here's a Thunderbird official pace car priced at $79. That's kind of an interesting car. I like the red glass salt and peppers back here. Let's see what the price is. This is kind of fun. $45 on the pair. They're sold. Here's another piece that's glowing, the Fit and Topaz. And this has got a little cracked handle, but it's priced at $39.50 in the sold bin. This is kind of fun, a little bronze, uh, I don't know if that's a fairy or what you call it exactly, but it's sold, priced at $195, out the door. Check out the early fruit jars over here. This is kind of interesting. Um, these are pretty nice jars. Here's an amber, it looks like a lightning maybe. Let's have a look. No, that's a globe, that's pretty fun. Price on this one is $95 that one back this one here is priced at uh what is the price circa 1900 jar 18 dollars and 75 cents for the back one there those are fun totem pole is right here it's in the so, sold bin uh let's see what that one's priced at real quick yeah all four chairs price at one or 795 is the price i know it was an offer presented so we'll see uh we'll see if it gets sold and then this table and four chairs, if they hide away inside the table, that's pretty neat outfit. Uh, just sold as well. And I'm not seeing the price on this one, but that's kind of a neat, neat mid-century piece. Uh, pretty interesting how that works. So you slide this up and the chairs are right inside. A table and four chairs, tuck away, table and four chairs sold. Olivia back here has been giving me a hard time and she's been telling stories about life. So say hi. Well, that is a wrap for today's video. Last two customers are up here in line checking out. Staff's just finishing and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, cool video, I mean, you guys have already seen it now, I guess. I like today's video, lots of fun stuff. And he's waving in the background right here. Have a good, good weekend. Have a good weekend. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, make a lot of comments, love to read them. Uh, we appreciate you guys, blessings everybody out there.